They are threatening to kill me. They want to eliminate me because I refuse. Please, Nigeria, save the life of this woman. She needs your help to be safe. Good afternoon, guys. I'm Eunice Atui today, um, the Labour Party candidate for Apapa Federal Constituency uh, in Lagos. And I'm the one that posted the video showing us how INEC officials were manipulating our results in Apapa early this morning, about 4 or 5 a.m. Um, the problem now is that they are threatening to kill me. They want to eliminate me because I refuse to negotiate and accept any kind of incentives in order to stand down my activities to help us. For me, the most important thing right now is for all of us to go to our uh, local government area coalition centers and begin to demand that the real results that we did at our different polling units are the results that goes up to INEC and comes out of the uh, whatever servers and beavers, whatever. We should go back to the beavers results hopefully they've not erased them or manipulated them get those results that are the real results that we did at our various polling units get them up get them up if you get them up it will be winning this election today not tomorrow not at the cost we can't trust our court systems because we see a lot of results out of our court systems that are very far away from any reasonable argument any normal human being can make so let's not risk it that we have to take our evidence to court and start proving that we won this election let's win it let's really win it and let them go and prove that we didn't so the trick for me is that we get out there 774 local government areas where they have an air coalition centers go there insist that the right results are uploaded and we will see that it will be won this election. Anything other than that will get somebody potentially Bola Ahmed Tinubu as our president and we all know what a Bula Balu government we're going to experience. We can't afford to take that risk. Yes, they're after me. I hope the, in fact, I am requesting and begging actually for the security agencies in Nigeria and you private people that know how to keep people safe. Help me figure out something to keep me safe because I don't want that. I get five children, I get one granddaughter. I want to stay and look after them. But I also want to see that Nigeria starts to work for all of us. So I'm happy to do what I'm doing, but I need help to make sure that I stay safe and keep doing what I'm doing. So guys, please help me. Security agencies, the international community. I'm also one of you. I'm a diaspora candidate, so you will help me. But in the meantime, please get out there. Go to the 774 local government area coalition centers. Insist that the results you all uploaded, you all signed, are the results that INEC publishes. Every, anything other than that, we are not going to get Peter B as president, but we need to have to be as president. If you go to courts in Nigeria, you risk having everything turned upside down and you come out with nothing. We've seen how many presidential election uh, 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 results have been uh, uh, turned around in Nigeria before. We know these things, so let's not risk it. Let's get out and make sure that our real results are uploaded. We are insisting that Papa's result will be the real thing that has to be uploaded. And I'm believing that we're going to succeed to do that. And when we succeed to do that, you see that we crash them. They can't believe it. These young kids coming out, guarding themselves. They were calling us fools, structureless people, but we beat them. And I see that it happened in many places, not just in our purpose. So guys, please, don't let them take this victory from us. Come out, guys. Go to your local government area coalition centers. Get me help. Those who can help me. Let's do this. One last chance.